Texas Tech has a has a unique uh, group um, within within my division, which is a fully online kindergarten through twelfth grade program, where a student can uh, take full time coursework um, and end up getting a, a Texas high school diploma, or they can take one or two classes at a time that that may fit in their schedule. We work with students. Um, that may be aspiring Olympians that can't go to school full-time, they need to train, so they take a couple of our classes. Um, to a student that uh, maybe didn't pass senior English but still wants to graduate with their friends, and so they take our English class to kind of help, um, help, uh, help them finish their, their high school diploma or their high school career. Uh, Tech has had the program about 25 years. Um, it started uh, really as a correspondence program, and then it has moved uh, to where our high school and our middle school are done uh, online and hybrid. And the elementary program is, is done still more print-based, but we're moving that, that to online. Texas Tech K-12 uh, is completely self-funded based on uh, tuition and fee dollars um, that the students pay when they were taking our classes. Uh, TTU K-12 gets no state funding uh, for operations. Uh, so it, it is part of the university, but, but the operations for it are, are completely self-funded. We have uh, really four populations of students we work with. One would be the independent student that is not going to school full-time, um, the homeschool student, uh, the student that uh, just can't go to school. Uh, one would be the supplemental student, that are the students taking one or two classes, but they're still going to full-time school in a traditional classroom. Uh, we also have a pretty, good, pretty big population of international students. Um, and those could be actually um, international uh, uh, students from Brazil or China, or they could be expats that are U.S. Uh, families living abroad that still want to have a U.S. educational uh, system. And then the fourth group would be um, a, a contract we have with the school district. So if the school district um, can offer Spanish 4, and they have a number of students that want to take Spanish 4, they'll contract with us to, to take those classes. They don't have a teacher. So we serve really all those different students. If they're a full-time student, they have to follow Texas Education Agency guidelines, TEA guidelines, and our program does, and, and they have to meet all the same rules uh, that a student in a, in a classroom um, in Lubbock, Texas would. Now, if they're uh, an out-of-state student, which we have quite a few of those, um, we will work with their home district and their home state to transfer the credit in, um, and typically uh, you're able to do that because we, we have measurable outcomes, we have assessments, uh, we, we do the same thing you do in a, in a classroom. So we'll transfer those classes in, work with the district, and, and make sure that it's transferable. Um, and the international students, uh, many of those students uh, want a U.S. high school diploma, um, and so m most of our international students are, are getting a diploma in their home country and also a Texas diploma. Um, it helps them if they go to a U.S.-based institution uh, for higher education uh, because they've got um, a, a U.S.-based high school diploma. Some of them will come to Texas Tech, but we have a, a number of students at, at uh, uh, Ivy League schools, Cornell. Um, we have students in the SUNY system. Um, we, uh, we've been doing this for 25 years, so we've, we've worked with thousands of students. So we've got students from coast to coast, um, uh, U.S., Canada, uh, um, and even uh, a couple uh, have gone on to, to study at, at Cambridge. Um, and and uh, so we're very proud of where our students go, uh, but especially the international students. Um, if they want to go to a U.S.-based institution of higher education, um, it, it lends a little more credibility to their education uh, because they've got a document from a, a U.S.-based school. All of the Texas Tech K-12 teachers are certified teachers in the state of Texas. Uh, many are retired teachers that still want to teach uh, or still want to do something, uh, and uh, they teach with us part-time. Uh, we even have some teachers that are still in the classroom that uh, want to teach a class or two. Uh, maybe in the classroom um, they're required to, to teach, um, you know, English 3, but their love is, you know, in a, a different class, or they're certified in, in history and they really want to teach history, so they, they could teach with us. So our teachers are, are certified teachers. They're, they're uh, fully compliant with all the Texas requirements, uh, TEA. Um, and they, they're either full, they're, they're all part-time, and uh, so they're working in classrooms or they've been in classrooms, so they're all very well um, established uh, and excellent educators. So our kindergarten, first, second, third grade um, uh, still has a lot of, of uh, materials and things that the students have to work with their parents on. Um, so either the parents print them and, and scan them and send them back in or that. Um, about third, fourth grade, we start to add a little bit more of those interactivity pieces and those pieces through Blackboard, uh, which we're a Blackboard institution uh, for our K-12 program. 
Um, and so it, it kind of changed, and so it builds. So if they start with us through kindergarten, go through 12th grade, they could start um, having a little more parent interaction at the lower levels, and then they um, have a little more autonomy kind of at the, the mid-level. They still have the parent, you know, there to, to help with some of the work, the worksheets, and, and, and managing that. And then when they get to high school, they, they really kind of um, have the ability to, to take their, their education and, and move forward at, at their pace. It's very unique. Um, there are a couple of others. Uh, the, there are a number of other online K-12 programs, but in the, at an institution of higher education, um, like the University of Texas at Austin has an online high school. Um, uh, the University of Missouri, Mizzou, um, they have a, a K-12 program. Uh, and um, another large one is, is at BYU. Um, and, and there are some others scattered around, but those are pretty, those are some of the large ones. Um, and, and Tech, um, like I said, has had it, you know, almost uh, about 25 years. It was established by the state of Texas because there was a need to, uh, to uh, work with these students that couldn't get access to a full-time education. Um, so it's, it's established as what's known as a special purpose uh, school district in the state of Texas, housed at an institution of higher education. Um, and, and so we, the, the students not only get a K-12 education, but they get access to, uh, you know, uh, some research and, and library and, and all that kind of stuff at, a, at an institution of higher ed.